I'm not accepting surrenders at this time. Fighting over glory? I do not require glory. Filoni talked about the distinctions between Thrawn and other well-known Star Wars villains like Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren in a recent interview with Empire Magazine. He revealed that while Thrawn doesn't need to rely on the Force like the others do, his greater intelligence makes him a more terrible and dangerous foe. Filoni clarified, he's an effective intellectual villain. It's a terrifying power that he has the ability to dissect, evaluate, and identify your flaws. A mind twisted toward that kind of ambition, one that turns genius into repression and dictatorship, is dangerous. Author Timothy Zahn, whose popular heir to the Empire trilogy of novels began five years after the events of Return of the Jedi, invented Grand Admiral Thrawn. For the third and fourth seasons of Filoni's Star Wars Rebels series in 2016, Thrawn was animated, which marked the start of his enmity with Ahsoka Tano. The sixth episode of Ahsoka season, one featured the legendary villain's live-action Star Wars debut. Lars Mikkelsen played the role of Thrawn in both the animated and live-action versions. In addition to Mikkelsen, Rosario Dawson played the title Jedi in the Ahsoka series. Rosario Dawson made her live-action debut in The Mandalorian Season 2. Natasha Liu Bordizzo as Sabine Wren, Amanis Fandi as Ezra Bridger, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Hira Sindola, Ivana Sakno as Shin Hadi, and Ray Stevenson as Balin Skull were also included in the most recent Star Wars series. Hayden Christensen, a series veteran, and Ariana Greenblatt, who plays a young Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker, respectively, were also unexpected additions to the ensemble for season one. Many fans have been wondering whether Lucasfilm intends to extend the Disney Plus series for a second season, since the season finale of Ahsoka aired on October 3. In a prior interview, Dawson stated that she believes Filoni already has ideas for his characters, which gives her confidence for the future of the Ahsoka series. I remember when we were at Star Wars Celebration in London, and they were like, we're giving Dave a movie, stated Dawson, and I was like, I kind of feel like that means we're probably going to get a second season. After nearly 20 years of working on Star Wars projects, beginning with the animated Clone Wars series, Filoni was officially appointed as Lucasfilm's newest chief creative officer last November 21. In an earlier interview, Filoni explained his new position by saying, in the past, in a lot of projects I would be brought into it. I would see it after it had already developed in a good ways. It's been exposed to pretty much everything in this new capacity. I'm involved from the beginning when it comes to preparing what we're doing now for the future.